An employee of Advanced Peace in Fresno, a program designed to reduce gun violence, has been arrested and charged with conspiracy to commit murder. He was arrested in one of the largest gang crackdowns in California history. It happened in Fresno, and it was known as Operation No Fly Zone. 43-year-old Leonard Smith was arrested by Fresno police. Smith is on parole for an earlier conviction of attempted murder. CBS 47's Medeiros Babb joins us live in studio with a story. Medeiros. Well, Catherine, the Fresno County District Attorney's Office confirmed to me that back in 1997, Smith was arrested for attempted murder. In 1998, documents show he was sentenced to prison, and the lead detective says Smith was on parole for this charge when he was arrested for the new charges. Calling the matters of Leonard Smith. 43 year old Leonard Smith in shackles in a red jumpsuit as Smith pleaded not guilty to conspiracy to commit murder. Smith works as an employee of Advanced Peace, a nonprofit organization that works to reduce gun violence by working with gang members. The program pays for training and stipends that come from grants as an incentive to stay out of trouble. Documents show that in 1997, Smith was arrested and charged for attempted murder. The next year, Smith was convicted. And Smith spent over 20 years in state prison. The lead detective says Smith was on active parole in 2022. Fresno's Advanced Peace Program manager Aaron Foster sent a statement that reads, "Quote: By the nature of the program, our neighborhood change agents work with gang members to reduce cyclical and retaliatory gun violence. We are looking forward to a positive outcome." End quote. According to court documents, on February 14, 2022, Matthew Townsend was shot and injured on the 300 block of East Jensen. That same day, documents allege that gang member Rafer Alston Jr. texted Smith about the shooting. And on the 26th, documents state that Alston Jr. called Smith to tell him that Alston Jr. was going to murder an informant. On March 9th, documents say 28-year-old Javante Askew was fatally shot, hit by 18 bullets. Documents allege that Alston Jr. told Smith about the murder and that Smith told Alston Jr. to delete the text messages about about it. Documents then claim that on March 11th, Smith told Alston Jr. to leave town, that Smith said he would take care of Alston Jr.'s family, and that Smith would keep law enforcement away. The legal complaint then says the next day, Smith asked Alston Jr. for a gun so he could attack someone who was giving him problems. On the 20th, documents say that Smith told Alston Jr. details of his plan to kill a rival gang member.